you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, as an introvert, how do you control your anxiety? Answer by John Smith. As an introvert, how do you control your anxiety? Introversion and anxiety have nothing to do with each other. I am an introvert. I do suffer from anxiety and depression, but these are separate matters. Being an introvert is not a mental illness. It's just part of my personality. Anxiety and depression are mental illnesses, in my case related. But in my group therapy sessions, even met many extroverts who also suffer anxiety and or depression. To control your anxiety, you can try breathing exercises and relaxation techniques. Use Google to find the best for you. If that doesn't help, then you'll need to seek out some kind of therapy. Start with some sort of self-help group. Google can help find one in your area. If that doesn't help, you'll need to find a professional to guide you. Answer by Nish Hufton. I'm not mostly anxious but here's what I do when I'm anxious. Talk to myself in a mirror for reviving my self-confidence. Listen to calm music to settle my mind's racing thoughts. Meditate for like 15 minutes to easy the pressure. Sit down. Little by little I understand the situation. List out all the ways to deal with it and slowly sort it out. Before relieving your mind at an instant. Dark chocolate is great solution. Also it's good for your brain cells and mental health. If none of them work open Quora, read my bookmark answers from other Quorans to get that positive spirit back. Also anxiety is common is common and can easily be overcome by self-control and constant practice of meditation. So don't lose hope. Upvote only if this was useful. Cheerio. Answer by Franklin Oyola. As an introvert with echopraxia and aphasia, I have plenty of trouble with my anxiety. I accidentally copy someone's movements or their tone. Anxiety kicks in. I can't understand what someone is saying and have to ask them what they're saying. Anxiety. Oh wait, I still can't understand what they're saying and have to keep asking them. Anger. Just anger. Not at them, but at myself. And vice versa. Just making eye contact makes me nervous. I've got this thing going on where my neck twitches whenever someone I don't know looks at me for even a split second. I hate it and I know when someone's looking because I have really good focus on my peripherals. Not to mention, I can see much better with my peripherals than my normal crappy vision. I decided to buy a phone. Why, you may ask? Because I had a decent plan that will get me to not only help me cope with some of my problems, but I can look normal while doing it. Actually now that I think about it I always stare directly at my emails in Quora while dodging people left and right, so I don't exactly look normal tbh. Anywho, so this phone, I'm telling you, never have I been happier than now. I have, games, comics, anime, Quora, YouTube, Google, something to take pictures of random dogs on the street with, and finally, something that's able to play my favorite music when I'm sitting by myself in the cafeteria, like right now. I haven't had any neck twitches for a while now. P.